name is Mira Benchen, and I would like to give you a brief introduction to our work on planar hexagonal meshing using coordinate power fields. This is joint work with Kasper Pluta and Michal Edelstein from the Technion, and Amir Waxman from Utrecht University. Our goal in this work is as follows. Given an input triangle mesh, we want to generate as output a planar hexagonal mesh, meaning a mesh with hexagonal faces, which are all planar. Such meshes have wide applicability in uh, architecture, where uh, they are used to construct uh, facades with wood or glass panels. Specifically, uh, hexagonal meshes have degree three vertices, which have beneficial mechanical properties. Unlike uh, planar quad meshes, which have been widely researched, planar hexagonal meshes pose some additional challenges. So for example, we must have concave faces if you want to get a water type mesh, and uh, there are very strict alignment and anisotropy constraints, which effectively make all the existing meshing tools not applicable. So our first contribution is to introduce a new framework for semi-regular emission, which we call the CPF framework. And the idea is as follows. Given the input mesh, we generate two planar vector, two piecewise constant vector fields, uh, which fulfill a certain continuity constraint, which guarantees the existence of a gradable parameterization. Using the, this parameterization, we lift a grid back to our input surface and we use it to generate our output planar hexagonal mesh. Uh, the condition on the CPF is, is quite simple. So uh, these uh, piecewise constant vector fields define a parametrization per face, and our constraint is that two neighboring triangles have a parametrization which agrees on the common edge up to a rotation by um, a quantized amount, which depends on the grid that you're using. So it's going to be 90 degrees for quads so, or uh, 60 degrees for triangles, etc. Uh, combining this with the complex representation for uh, planar vectors we get a very simple uh, equality constraint, which we impose for all the interior uh, edges of the mesh. And we also require a non-degeneracy constraint of linear independence between the two uh, planar vector fields. So if uh, these condition holds, then UV are coordinate power fields, and then they guarantee the existence of a corresponding seamless rotationally quantized global parameterization. Uh, and the proof is quite straightforward. Using this framework, we can now pose these challenging constraints for planar hex meshes, uh, the alignment and anisotropy constraints, uh, feed it to the CPF framework and get as output a semi-regular triangle mesh, which has the correct alignment that we require. We then use this mesh, uh, we dualize it to get a, a semi-regular hexagonal mesh, which has convex faces, but then we planarize it to get our output, uh, the final uh, planar hexagonal mesh. Using this framework, we can get some very nice uh, pH meshes on uh, complicated geometries, which have large coverture variations, such as the bunnies here, um, fertility, the duck, the bird, and there are many more examples in the paper. To the best of our knowledge, this is the first time that planar hexagonal meshes were computed on such complicated uh, meshes. Uh, going back to our architecture uh, application, we also have uh, nice examples of uh, architectural models. Uh, such as these. To conclude, we uh, present in our work a robust framework for parametrization based similar regular meshing. We use it to compute planar hexagonal meshes uh, and get nice results on uh, complicated meshes. And we believe that our framework is quite general, so it will be applicable to other meshing applications and other uh, applications in geometry processing in general. Thank you, and we are happy to accept questions.